Hey, another story we've been following pretty closely here on KSL. The Utah Jazz look to continue their rebuilding effort with a new architect. Yeah, just a few hours ago, the team announced head coach Tyrone Corbin will not be offered a new contract, thus ending his tenure with the Jazz. Gregor Bell joins us now with more. Well, Ty Corbin's playing career with the Utah Jazz lasted just shy of three seasons in the early 90s, but as an assistant and later head coach, Corbin spent a decade on the Jazz bench. Today, after 112 wins and 146 losses as the head man, including an NBA West worst 25-57 and 57 mark this season, Corbin was told that his contract would not be renewed, the team announcing that the search for a replacement will begin immediately. You know, everyone should know that uh, Ty's a man of dignity, class, integrity. Today, we're, we're grateful for a period that they uh, saw us through, you know, and, you know, following Coach Sloan's in many ways, as you guys know, is like, you know, following John Wooden. We decided to not go young, but extremely young, and uh, it's a very difficult position to put coaches in, but it was one that we still felt like when we visited with ownership, management, our scouts, our coaches, it was the right decision. Jazz CEO Greg Miller said the decision to make impactful changes in our organization is never taken lightly. Indeed, the Jazz have had only four head coaches since moving to Salt Lake a quarter century ago. The search is now on for coach number five.